It's Ron back. Uh, I haven't had a video up in a while, so I just thought I wouldn't catch, you know, things up. Think, you know, I don't want you to think I, uh, you know, quit quit YouTube and stop making uh, videos here. It's just been, it's been, you know, busy time in August here. Um, had my nieces around for a few days. So we're busy then. Went to a wedding recently. Uh, I went back to my hometown in Pennsylvania and visited my father, visited some old friends, went to a fancy football draft. So just been a lot, you know, a lot going on. I've had good things going on. Having fun or whatever. Just haven't had a chance to do much with the, uh, the drones lately or, you know, any of my tech gadgets really. Uh, the, you know, uh, uh, I, I took some pictures and stuff at the uh, the wedding and so on, mostly with the, uh, you know, the like real cameras. I know I don't do a lot of, you know, I see real cameras here. I do a lot of 360 or GoPro cameras, but I don't do a whole lot with the real cameras on this uh, this channel here. Maybe I should. But anyhow, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to return, uh, you know, shortly making my, uh, you know, my... Uh, drone videos, my uh, kind of unboxing reviews of uh, products related to drones and related to, you know, uh, creating content, YouTube, uh, helping create content for live streams, uh, such as what we do on Monday nights with the Drone Nation show. But um, I, I got to, you know, I, I, this video I, I want to talk about, uh, it's going to be short here, when you, know, you folks, know, it's going to be a short video. Uh, I got a good call from my friend uh, JC Flying uh, uh, last week, I think it was Friday, that's, that's, that's John Carroll who's located down in the great state of North Carolina. And, uh, you know, John just wanted to let me know that, um, you know, he was having issues, like a lot of people, with the, uh, you know, with the Mini 2 and, and the uh, and the Air Air 2, uh, which I don't have an Air 2 handy to hold up as a prop in the video here. But, um, and what the problem has been, it goes all the way back to, uh, you know, I, I don't know when they released the 1.4.8 uh, version of the... Um, the firmware, uh, and that's, and actually I shouldn't say firmware, that's the app version on iOS 1.4.8. And it caused a lot of people uh, all sorts of problems with uh, the Mini 2 and the Air 2. I mean, disconnections, um, uh, loss of FPV, um, I mean, you name it, uh, it it's happened for somebody under 1.48. Uh, it just, you know, made the drone, um, you know, basically uh, un unreliable for a lot of people. Now, myself, uh, I'm one of the lucky ones. I had no issues with 1.48. I saw none of these issues that anybody... Um, has talked about it and has documented uh, on, on various videos, but um, but John had John had issues where you know he you know, he lost FPV, he lost connection, you know, issues that, that you know basically uh, you know uh, kind of scary things that happen. So he was watching the Fly for Fun show uh, hosted by uh, our good friend uh, our good friends uh, Johnny Drone Flyer and Captain Ray Kelly, and they had uh, JS JSK Kenterprise on. Uh, you know, who's, uh, you see him in all the chats. He's a big supporter of many of the live, uh, live drone shows that you see during the course of the week. And, uh, his name is Leonard. He's from, he's from New Jersey. He's a little upstate from me. And, uh, he told him on the show that, uh, what he did is he deleted the, uh, the app from his phone. Now, we're talking iOS here. Um, I, I, I don't know how this relates to Android, but we're talking Apple iOS. He deleted the, uh, the Fly app, the, the DJI Fly app, from his phone, and then he reinstalled it again, and uh, his problems went away. So John Carroll listened to his, to his advice. He deleted the app from his phone, tab, you know, iPads, you know, whatever devices you were using, and then reinstalled it again from scratch. And, you know, like magic, uh, his problems were fixed. He no longer had the, the disconnection, the loss of FPV, and uh, I mean, I, don't, I, I could say other things, but I'm not sure. But there's two, the two things I definitely, definitely know happened to people that I know. But I, I, I've heard other issues, too. I just don't want to say them because I'm not sure which ones they are. But... Um, Anyhow, so, you know, it was a pretty simple fix, really, uh, you know, just deleting and reinstalling an app. So if anybody out there is having a problem with uh, the, uh, the app, Fly app version 1.4.8, uh, you know, try give this a try. You know, it can hurt. And I, I think Matt Cundoff posted recently that they're, they've all already got a beta uh, version of the, of the next version uh, of the uh, DJI Fly app out there. So uh, hopefully that will... Um, 
you know, fix any lingering issues that, that anybody's having and, and maybe it'll fix issues so people won't have to go delete the whole you know app and uh you know and, and then reinstall which uh, isn't a big deal but you know for people that aren't used to that type of thing uh maybe it could be a, a little daunting for some so uh john you know i told john to make a video about this i said it could help a lot of people he he, he just kind of said hey you know you go ahead and do it whatever so uh, i'm sorry i didn't get a chance to do it until now so um you know if if, if you if deleting the app and reinstalling fixes your problems you know um you know, uh, leave a comment down below, but also, you know, go over on, on any social media, like, 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 you know, the, the Drone Nation Facebook group and shout out John, uh, JC Flying John Carroll and let him know that, uh, you know, him passing that information along to me, you know, helped you out. And also all the way back to, uh, uh, uh JSK Kenterprise, who originally, uh, said it on the, on the Fly for Fun show, uh, last week. Yeah, last week. So, um, anyhow, I just wanted to get that out there. And, uh, you know, I just want to say I'm, I'm probably not going to fl be flying over the next couple of days. I'm down here at uh, beautiful Margate City, New Jersey, down here at the Jersey Shore. And I'm just two towns below Atlantic City. And they have a big air show this week. They have the air show like every 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 summer the same week except for last year when they had the COVID. Uh, but the, the air show is going to happen again this year. And we have a, you know, a, a TFR, you know, temporary uh, flight restriction zone here for my whole town uh, of, you know, Margate uh, City. So, uh, you know, we won't be flying uh, for the next couple of days. Uh, I know, you know, they're practicing today. They had the show on uh, Wednesday. Maybe they do the show again on Thursdays. Anyhow, we're, we're going to be, uh, a, a, you know, flight restricted uh, area for a couple of days here. So, um, think about maybe getting some of my RC cars out and, uh, you know, mess around with them while I'm, you kind of grounded here uh, for, for, for a couple of days. So, and I do have a new uh, review I'm going to be working on here recently. I got this video conference lighting kit in, a uh, light that, that comes with a, a, a mount here, some of what you use in your car for your you know, like your phone or something like that to put in the windshield, but you use a suction cup to put in the back of your laptop and then you, you know, it sticks over the top of the laptop and it lights your face during, you know, Zoom conference calls, uh, you know, uh, even um, I'll plug StreamYard since we use those for our live shows. So any type of, um, you know, a lot of people do work now uh, using, you know, uh, video conferencing apps, again, such as Zoom and so on. So this could be an invaluable tool for somebody that's in a, in, a, in a room where there's a lot of shadows and dark spots and maybe they look awful dark in the video where this could light their face up but could be a good face light to make them more, um, you know, presentable, look more warm and friendly in, in good lighting. So we'll, we'll be, you know, testing this out real soon. I'm, in fact, I'm charging the uh, device up light right now as we uh, speak. So, um, yeah, I, I don't, you know, I, go, I don't want to go on forever here. Um, I'm going to keep this short here. Uh, we are looking forward to hopefully getting the um, Hubson uh, Zeno Mini Pro uh, in, in real soon. Uh, I, I know, you know, some, um, if you go to Hubson's web, a lot of us order from the mothership, hubson.com. And uh, if you go there, it says your order is still pending. But uh, my uh, good friend, Marcus Crawford, if he, uh, he actually has a, um, you know, he's a, you know, a super user over at the uh, FedEx, a VIP over there. And uh, they sent him tracking anything that's coming to him. And a device has left China. And the last time I talked to him, it's in Alaska now. And it's on the way to him. So the only thing you can think of is it's the... Uh, the Zeno Mini. So uh, hopefully, I ordered just maybe the same day, maybe just a couple hours after Marcus. So hopefully, mine's on the same trek, you know, over here to the uh, U.S. So hopefully, we have those drones in our hand by the end of the week. Uh, our, our good friend, uh, big, big YouTuber over in Asia, uh, uh, Ali Shah, uh, and you know, I, I I won't say his full name out because I'll probably butcher it, but I'll just call him Ali Shah. He he received the. Uh, the drone last week, and he's done a whole series of reviews already on it, flight tests, unboxings, hover tests, night night tests. So uh, he, he's got a full range of videos out, and it seems very promising, uh, you know, from the videos he's he's put up yet. With, you know, the big combi and that some of the uh, intelligent flight features are still not uh, functioning or working, you know, they're... 
uh, they're still not there yet, but uh, the, you know, the, the main thing is it seems to fly well, seems to hover well, the obstacle avoidance seems to work well. So, yeah, we're looking forward to getting that in our hands here. You know, the, I know that the Mini uh, SE has just dropped from DJI, but, uh, you know, of course, it's kind of a, um, you know, a, a budget drone. It doesn't offer any new features or whatever. It's kind of repurposed uh, parts from the the Mini 1, the Mini 2, so um, if you have the Mini 2, it's it's a less capable drone than your Mini 2, so there's, you know, there's, um, you know, there's, it's hard to get excited about it if you have, uh, you know, more uh, full-featured drones or whatever, so, um, you know, the, and, and this um, Hubson Xeno Pro, you know, even has more, you know, quote, quote, features than the Xeno, I mean, the Mini 2, DJI Mini 2 at this point. So um, we're going to see how that all, all tests out. But anyhow, uh, that's all I got for you today, folks. And, um, you know, I just wanted to let you know I'm still here. Still, I'm doing good. Just enjoying the, uh, you know, kind of the second half of August here. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, for most of the year, I look forward to the warmer weather. But now it's a little bit warm now. I look forward to a little bit cooler temperatures coming up in uh, in September to get out on some more of my uh, drone and, and camera and GoPro uh, adventures here. And, and, you know, of course, we have to look forward to... Um, you know, end of September is the GoPro time when you usually see the release of the newest GoPro. So at this point, we, we have the Hero 9s. So I guess we'd be looking at a Hero 10. And all, all, of course, there's also rumors of a DJI um, kind of Osmo, uh, Osmo Mobile uh, 2. Uh, and they're probably just called the Mobile 2 at this point since they're kind of dropping the Osmo line. Uh, and uh, that's probably going to be, you know, a competitor to whatever the Hero 10 has to offer. So anyhow, it's it's going to be, you know, exciting coming up in the, in the near future. Some new drones, some new tech or whatever. And there's also rumors of a new uh, DJI uh, uh, OM, OM5, which is their um, handheld gimbal, their phone gimbal, where you put your, uh, sell your phone on the gimbal, and it uh, keeps the axis, uh, you know, the... the uh, it keeps it nice and smooth as you're walking and moving along. So, um, so we got we got some stuff to look forward to coming up soon. So, you know, that's about it for today. Um, you know, and uh, you know, keep uh, you don't forget to you know click click you know subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, you know, hit the bell notification so you know when I do post some of these new, new drone reviews and and when the Hobson uh, Zeno Mini Two does arrive. We will kind of stop the presses and go full bore, you know, uh, nonstop review and, uh, you know, flight testing and so on on that drone. So, uh, and I will be working in conjunction with my good friend Marcus Crawford on, on the reviews for that drone. So, everybody, have a great summer day. Uh, you know, get outside, do something cool today and, uh, you know, and take care.